Have you ever found yourself rewriting your work on a new piece of paper because the one you wrote had too many crossed out words or a correction? Or have you ever been procrastinating to, 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 adapt, to, to do a task because it seemed difficult to cope with? Or have you ever done more work than demanded because you found it not enough? Well, if you did, congratulations. You are a perfectionist. Well, I said this metaphorically, but in fact, I agree. Having high standards and challenging yourself to do the best you're capable of is something that makes you progress, but only if it's kept within limits. People who go over the limit aren't healthy perfectionists. This kind of people have high perfectionistic striving and concerns. A healthy perfectionist tend to berate themselves and have intense self-disparagement when they don't meet their own standard. They find the process and the result of the work stressful, depressing, and therefore have increased levels of stress. Perfectionism is something from which many people around me suffer, and I am personally the biggest sufferer of this so-called condition. And I would like to single out three points from my experience and by observing people around me. So firstly, I will start with unrealistic expectations. Central to perfectionism is the idea that you can be perfect at any task. Since this is technically impossible, it will invisibly lead to frustration and disappointment with the results. Despite this contradiction, perfectionists keep believing that they can be better and goal keeps shifting no matter how they improve. Therefore, they believe that they're never enough which can actually lead to low self-esteem, self-criticism, hatred, and most importantly, mental problems. Next up is fear of getting judged. You know, I often found myself backing up from competitions which included math, physics, or chemistry because I knew that I was not the best in them. So when my friends went on these competitions and offered me to join, I refused because I was scared of not reaching a perfect level in some subject. Therefore, we can think of perfectionism not as having sa high standards and people doing everything to achieve them, but as if a person is afraid of being judged, firstly by themselves and secondly by others. And the next most common problem in every student and especially in perfectionists is procrastination. I think we all had a moment when we've said, I'm going to start doing my homework at five. And when it turns 5, we're like, oh, it's already 5. I'm going to start it at 5.30. And this goes up to 8 o'clock. I think you all have recognized yourselves. Well, I definitely do. This is my major problem. The pressure of performance can push a person to postpone necessary things continually. Since the standard is, per is perfection, it becomes difficult to start or finish projects. All these points are familiar to me. And I noticed that I wasn't thinking about anything then changing everything so it would be perfect. I was holding myself from many del delightful life experiences, good times, and I noticed that my skills weren't developing anymore because I was holding myself from making mistakes and then learning from them afterwards. I was in my little bubble where I was comfortable and I didn't want to step out of my comfort zone. So I realized that this, um, uh, it will all force me to get frustrated easily, to not to want to communicate with people anymore, despite the fact that I'm very friendly and I love to meet people. And it was transforming me into a person who actually has nothing common with me. Generally, when I meet and communicate with people, I first evaluate their communication skills, how they talk, their manners, and after that, their knowledge. I usually keep myself distant from people who are aggressive, who are judgmental because they're insecure. So when I noticed that I was becoming a bundle of nerves and I didn't want to communicate with people anymore, I knew that this trait was gonna destroy me. So I decided to break this habit and embrace more realistic and healthy approach to life. But to be honest, this is not something you can get rid of fully or immediately, but you can lighten up the pressure of it on yourself. So first thing I learned is that there are some life lessons which you can learn without experiencing them. You can't master everything from the books or advice people give you. For example, you can learn information from the book, but you can learn how to be convincing while you present it. This is something which comes from experience. Well, you may look at people's work and you may like it, but you can't see how much that person has gone through to get there, how many failed attempts that person had 
to get that result. And by looking at them, you consider yourself as not strong enough to do something easily. Just look at it realistically. Normalize making mistakes because it is the only way we get to perfection, little by little. That's how the world works. Become failable, capable of failing. Or if you don't, you'll only hurt yourself. Do you really think you can break the regularity of the universe? I hope not. Next thing is to treat as it is a phobia. For example, what do you do to overcome a fear of dogs? You pet them. You get used to being near to them, right? You do the same with this fear, as it's the fear of failure. So start handing in that half-crossed paper. Are you procrastinating it? Start doing it in that moment. Are you feeling that you have not done enough but actually completed all the tasks? Worry until you feel sick to it. Actually, just fail in some aspects which in reality don't matter and you just gave it too much attention. Give your perfectionism a direction. Change a marker for success. For example, aim to finish your work or assignments at 9 p.m. and do everything to achieve that goal so you don't have dark circles under your eyes next day and you have motivation and energy. Just use your negative trait and positive challenges so you don't stress yourself and you keep evolving time by time. At the end of the day, why are you so determined to get straight A's? You want to get to the best university, right? Okay, you got to that best university, you got a diploma. Then you major in another subject. You got a job, you have a good salary. And you look back and think, I could have made it easier because your perfectionistic self was following you everywhere during this life trip. You are left with insecurities, low self-esteem, and money. You got there with huge stress, with the, you have now a regret that you weren't perfect while getting there. Is it worth it? Are you delighted with your work? I don't think so. I don't want to end up like that. So I started to realize some facts, and now I have huge progress on my way of thinking and on my perspectives. I realized that perfection is a direction not to go, and I decided not to have that direction so I could really focus on what's really important. I'm still trying to be a high achiever rather than a perfectionist now uh, because I want to enjoy the process. I want to adapt to challenges and build the habits which lead to long-term success. And I always remember what James Clear said, I and I want you perfectionists to remember it as well. It doesn't matter how successful or unsuccessful you are right now. What actually matters is whether your habits are putting you on the way towards success. You should be far more concerned with your current trajectory rather than your current results. Thank you.